Maggie. I've now been in Indonesia for four weeks and I'd like to say a big thank you to everyone for making me feel so welcome, teaching me about the organization and I'm just wondering what a wonderful group of people we have and what a fantastic business we have. So thank you to everyone for doing that. But I'm here this afternoon to talk about uh, your voice survey, which is a survey that uh, we do every two years across the whole of the BAT world. So every single employee and every single OPCO answers a series of questions. And it's taken extremely seriously, right from the management board, right down through all the leadership teams to all the managers in the business. And what we're going to do is take a pulse of the organization. What is making people very satisfied? Where is there a chance to improve? And uh, what are the uh, things we can do to make ourselves an even stronger organization? The last one we did was in 2017. And uh, during that Your Voice survey, we had fantastic feedback from Indonesia. And as a result of that, we presented the results uh, to the region, to the BAT group, and we agreed a set of initiatives to, uh, to try and improve the careers of everyone, the reward structures, and how we as a group become a better and stronger organization. So over the next few minutes, I'd like to take you through some of those initiatives and, uh, and show you what a powerful impact the Your Voice survey has in the way we lead the business in Indonesia. The uh, first thing I'd like to talk about is, uh, is people development, which is something we take extremely seriously in the company. Uh, we continue to invest in training and development, and it's our goal to grow as much of our talent from within the organization as possible. Let me give you a, a fantastic example, which is our Corporate Academy program. And this is a nine-month program to take non-managers and prepare them for management positions. Over the last two years, we've taken 43 non-managers, put them through the program, and they graduated to be managers in the business. And this is the highest number we've had since 2010. And actually, we are setting the pace for this in the entire group and recognize this as a world-class program, which many other opcos across the group are beginning to learn from. The second thing we've done, we've taken your feedback around reward and look to make some big improvements in this space. The first one was around uh, the feedback on the bonus scheme for non-managers. Now, previously, you might remember this was based on a, a fixed gratification. Now we've changed it to make it a percentage of salary and also driven it from the, the business performance metrics, so just like managers as well. So that's a big improvement. The second area is around health insurance. We've renegotiated the terms and conditions. We've increased the annual limits. We've increased the, uh, the inpatient limits. We've increased the, uh, the tolerance days for room upgrades for non-managers. And then last but not least, we've increased the maternity leave from three to four months for, for women on maternity leave. The, uh, the next area where your feedback was fantastically helpful was in the area of employee engagement. We want to continue to strengthen our common purpose, which is winning as one team. And as a result of the feedback, we introduced the uh, Employee Engagement Committee. And this takes employees from across the organization from different functions and gets them to lead initiatives around employee engagement. And some of the fantastic things they've done is the, uh, the Independence Day celebrations, the Healthy Month, Buwaka Puasa, the Sports Corner at Enasmo, and so many more things that are too many to mention. So on, on top of that, we're very proud by the external recognition we get. Over the last two years, both in 2017 and in 2018, we've received the HR uh, Asia Award and the very prestigious Top Employer Award. And what this is doing is recognizing that our environment, our practices, our talent development are amongst the best of all the peer companies against we recognize. So I very much like to continue to receive that external recognition as we go forward in 2019, 2020 and beyond. I want to be continue to be recognized as a very, very desirable and top employer to attract the best talent and to the best possible environment for the development of our existing employees. However, I think it's very important that we don't stay complacent and this is where I really need everyone's help. We're about to launch the 2019 Your Voice survey and if everyone can take a little bit of time to reflect on what they really enjoy about working for BAT, what are the things we've done in the last two years which we could continue to do and most importantly, where are the areas we can improve to make this an even better place to work? Remember, every voice means a lot. Your voice matters. Tarima Cassie.